Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Vinny the Handyman. Today's video is kind of cool. Um, my customer just bought a new electric vehicle. I think it's the Mach 1 um, from Ford. Pretty slick ride. But anyhow, he wants to be able to charge his uh, new EV in his garage on his own time. So we're going to give him a new outlet. So with that said, let's get to it. Okay, so we picked up our 50 out flush mount power outlet. Uh, this will look better in the wall. Hi. Say hi, Ashley. Hi. Hi, YouTube. And then we have our 50 amp breaker. And this is, this will connect to that. So we're gonna be good there. All right, so one thing to keep in mind, wire is outrageous right now. So we're gonna need 10.3. Um, I have a 65, 70 foot run, so almost 100 feet. And look at the difference. It's freaking crazy, man. So if you guys are gonna run these for your uh, EVs, it's gonna be very expensive. And again, this is uh, for a 75 foot run. So we're looking at $300 roughly just in electrical wire. I can't believe how much this has gone up. But people are willing to pay it. So this would be billed to the customer, obviously. Yeah. Hey, are you laughing at me or with me? At you. Oh, that's what everyone does. <laughs> oh, you're being funny today, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love you, baby. I love you. Okay, so now we got to get this wire inside the Lambo. So I don't know what's more expensive, this freaking wire or this car. Everything's so expensive. What do you think, Ashley? Um, the Lambo. The Lambo? Yeah. All right, put that in there, my mess. There we go. Now it's got to lift my baby girl out of this. Okay, sweetie, you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me get my baby girl inside the car. She loves riding in this thing. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, baby girl. Love you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we're here at the job site. My customer actually bought the new uh, Mach 1 Mustang, I believe. Anyhow, it's their new EV vehicle. It's a pretty slick ride. So he wants to be able to park this sucker in here, um, have his uh, new charge station right here in between the door. And we're going to give him a, an outlet right here. And we're gonna run that down to the basement sub panel. And I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm sure a lot of you guys are dealing with this right now. Um, so this video should be very beneficial, but for about four or five hours of work, depending on how far your panel is, um, this shouldn't be too bad, but this one's a little different. Um, so basically we got to make a hole in this wall. We got to figure out where we're going to go down to the basement. I'll show you guys that in a second. Okay. So I have a stud right here. I'm going to pull the drywall as close as this outlet is possible. So without disturbing the outlet, I think I'm going to take it from this stud over to here. And if I can't work with anything in this general area, now I'm gonna to go to the other side of the stud, okay? So now I went to this stud and to this stud. Now we're gonna cut it all the way down and hopefully this whole piece will just come right out. Okay, so like I said, this pipe goes straight down to the basement. Um, we might be able to make our penetration right here and take it down. So
Okay, so we're getting closer. I'm feeding it through that little chase here by the iron support beam. And then we're running right through the center of the uh, HVAC duct and this support beam. We're gonna go all the way through to the other side, to the uh, water closet, excuse me, the furnace closet. And then, running it through here. And now we gotta make some holes through the truss right here. So we're gonna come across through here. Boom, 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 all the way down until we run in to our penetration there. So we're getting closer. Um, not too bad so far, not too bad. And now I gotta get my drill and drill through these holes. Okay, so we got our uh, wire ran through into the electrical closet here. So we're gonna make a nice clean run here and then run down. Um, we're gonna staple this obviously, just like you see here. So it looks nice and clean. Everything's labeled correctly. We're gonna drop it in. I got a 50 amp slot right here that's available. Um, we're gonna change this breaker out and put a new one in and uh, this will be for the new um, charging station, okay? All right, so now we're gonna duplicate exactly what you see here. See how the Romex cables are running through these little fittings? So now we gotta, um, we're gonna punch out one of these blanks and then do the same thing. Being that this is a sub panel, we're gonna turn it off outside so that way we know no electricity is coming through here. Okay, so now I'm putting in my neutral, and then I got my ground down here at the bottom. So. Okay, so we got our 50 amp breaker here. Uh, we got our uh, red and our black on, our neutrals tied in, our ground. So now we're gonna go out in the garage and put together the outlet and then we'll fire this bad boy up. Okay, so here's a quick diagram. I know it's really hard to tell in the video, but basically your red and blacks, those are your two hot legs coming out from your breaker and it's going to tie into the backside of your 50 amp outlet so if this was a main panel that you're hooking up to then you would put the neutral to the white neutral bus and then your ground wire would go to the ground wire bus which is separate so of course if you guys do not feel comfortable then hire a licensed electrician to do the final hookups again you guys can run the wire and do everything else to save money and then just have an electrician come in and do the final hookups and you guys will be fine all right, guys, we're at the home stretch now. So now we got everything tied into the panel. Again, we'll make sure this is off so it's good. Uh, next, we're going to be putting a butterfly box into the drywall like that. So that'll be next. And then we can put our piece of drywall back on, and this job's completed. Okay, so by doing that, um, this will allow me to cut out my box with my oscillating tool. So cut that out, and then we'll put our butterfly box in and pull the wire out.
Okay, once you have your drywall on, now you can set your box, and then you're just gonna screw this butterfly box right here on these two screws, and it'll tighten itself up. Okay, so here's our outlet. Now we're gonna put our white to the white screw, black, red, and then green to the green screw, okay? All right guys, so here's the end product. The mud is actually drying right now. Then you would put on your finished plate just like this. All right, other than that, that's it. This job is complete.